Yo, so apparently Halo almost made it to the PS2. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Like, just reading articles like this, I find it really interesting because you would have never thought, you know, like Xbox, Halo, this is kind of like always go together. Like, imagine Halo on on a PlayStation console. That's just crazy. So, yeah, this is an article from Screen Rant. Um, they're basically talking about how now Halo almost made it to the PS2. That's literally the title. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to read every single word in this article, but I will read some of what I think is interesting. So here, before Halo, first-person shooters on consoles were a mixed bag. Some games like GoldenEye007 uh, on the N64 achieved success, but a lot of FPS games were clunky when they weren't being played on a computer with a keyboard and mouse. The Halo release improved what a great FPS on console could be, and it helped the original Xbox sell almost 25 million units. Since then, Halo and Xbox have been invariably linked within the video game industry. It makes a lot of sense that the developers at Bungie would want their game on the PS2. I mean, yeah. Even though now, two decades after its release, the PS2 is still the best-selling console of all time. It's why so many third-party developers in the early 2000s released their games on it, despite Bungie's work on PS2. Uh, on the PS2 Halo game, it wasn't meant to be. The project the project was scrapped, even though video game footage on Halo and PS2 can still be viewed online. That's, I actually want to see if I can find that. Can you imagine, like, like Halo running on a PlayStation console? That's just... That's insane, man. Uh, so, why did Halo never made it to uh, PlayStation? Like, what happened? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's keep reading. So, what went wrong? Why did Bungie scrap the Halo work on the best-selling console of all time and instead put it on Microsoft's new and untested Xbox? The short answer is Microsoft. Well, yeah, they, they got a shit ton of money, so I figured. Uh, before Bungie, before Bungie could finish their work on Halo, the company was bought out by Microsoft in the year 2000, who didn't want the game appearing on any competitor's console. By buying Bungie, Microsoft now owned the rights to Halo. The game soon became an exclusive launch title and was responsible for the original Xbox su success. The rest, as they say, is history, but this seemingly small change greatly alter the video game industry as we know it and that's that's true like that line is not exaggerating imagine if halo was on playstation like literally xbox might have not even existed today and that's insane to think it's crazy how this single game this single like move that microsoft made like changed history without halo the original xbox wouldn't have been nearly as successful while people would have still bought the console though xbox would have likely sold consistent considerably less units without halo uh what do you guys think would you guys like want halo on playstation because honestly like this this brings a lot of uh thoughts into my head like how would have everything turned out if halo came to playstation would xbox be like would xbox still be alive and if it was would it be like a niche platform like where like a small american gaming company with a console that some people buy like would it be like that or would it still somehow be like as popular as today i don't know it's hard to say but i find it hard for it to have been that intriguing if halo wasn't in it i don't know i don't know let me know your thoughts guys let me know